9 to 5 has been one of my favorite experiences because it reminds me of the kind of entertainment that got me interested in being in show business. It was variety in the 1970s. The Carol Burnett Show, Sonny and Cher, uh, The Cher Show. And my intention was to create that kind of pure entertainment with 9 to 5, sort of a retro evening of just theater that you just could forget about your worries, bring the kids, bring the whole family, and just have a really good time with good old-fashioned theater. Anybody who's the slightest bit familiar with Dolly Parton's music, which has to be, you know, 99.9% .9 of the population, knows what a terrific songwriter she is. And the fact that she so naturally writes terrific story songs and songs that have meaning means that writing for a musical like this is just, I think, comes naturally to her. It's a lot of fun. I have some bumps and bruises pretty much everywhere because I, I get hung by a garage door opener. I get slapped about. Uh, I get gags stuffed into my mouth. I get tied up uh, on several occasions. You know, it's a it's a very physical role. It's so much fun to do night after night to be out there having a great time with Amy Paris and Diana DeGarmo. We just tear it up out there. <laughs> Playing Violet, which is a role that Lily Tomlin created, feels like stepping into the shoes of an icon because I admire her so. It's landed in my lap. I don't have to take crap for the first time since I was a girl. I'm excited because it was wonderful when we were on Broadway and it's even more wonderful that we're here so kicking off the uh, world tour. Uh, Diana DeGarmo, who's playing Dorley Rose, the character I played, well she's taking it to a whole new place. My look artificial, but where it counts Guess I can see where I could be this church Pompers place. Even backwards bodies deserve something shame. There has definitely been pressure performing in front of Dolly because this is her baby. 9 to 5 is her show. She did all the music for it. But she's been so supportive. She's like our fairy godmother here. She just comes and she's been, you know, bringing us fudge and comes to rehearsals and comes to the performances and always giving, you know, great advice and giving us pep talks and just being there for us no matter what. You know, who better to go out and make a, a Broadway run than Miss Diana DeGarmo doing Dolly Parton? You did it again, girl. Everything you do is so fantastic, so remarkable and extraordinary. God has given you such a gift of creativity, joy, love, passion. Her heart is bigger than her boobs. With all of the country music writing she's done, it's a musical musical, which, I mean, I knew she could do it because it's Dolly Parton, but it was amazing. But we're from New Jersey and we go to Broadway all the time and this was fabulous. This was fabulous. <laughs> the whole thing was just amazing. It's the best play I've ever seen. So it's got a little something for everybody. I'd come see it again. Definitely. But I mean, it was an amazing show. Blew us out of the water. Yay! We loved it! Come see 9 to 5! <laughs>